All right, now let's see. We're taking you to a live look right now, Snoqualmie Pass, where I-90 was closed for a while yesterday, and that is where we find our Dan Griffin. And we've seen some blizzard-like conditions this week. Dan, tell me about it. Yeah, absolutely. So we know that Snoqualmie Pass and Stevens Pass both had some issues yesterday. Snoqualmie Pass closed for more than eight, what, nine hours. Here's what we're seeing right now. This is what we're seeing. Those road crews, WashDOT, they have been hard at work. Even early this morning, about 4 a.m., they were doing avalanche control uh, about five miles west of the summit. So they did that really quickly, though. The road was only closed for a short period, uh, and then traffic was flowing again. And I'll tell you, this is basically what the pass looks like. If you have any intention of going to eastern Washington, perhaps you're going to go see your family, it's about time to get those presents in the car, get everything ready, and get everybody going. This is what you're going to be looking at here. I'll say this morning, we've been doing pretty decently, about 40, 50 miles an hour. Um, the speed limit actually said it's updated here at 35 is what they're saying. So um, traffic has been moving along pretty well. I've seen uh, the big rigs, they've been going, the cars have been going pretty comfortably. But I will say, obviously, you need to be uh, responsible with it. Don't go too fast. Leave plenty of space. And if you see those road crews, by the way, give them plenty of space to work. I've seen... A number of salt trucks here just trying to keep everything in check, moving the snow off to the sides, clearing the way. Uh, and so obviously we need to leave space for them. I believe yesterday a snow plow, Washdot said, was hit in Snohomish County. Want to avoid that, keep everybody safe, make sure everybody can enjoy the holidays, obviously. We have been seeing some snow flurries up here, too. So the work that they uh, have been doing may get covered up a little bit by some fresh powder this morning as well. But as of right now, coming up on the Hayek exit, this is what we're seeing going eastbound on uh, I-90 here at the pass. So we're going to keep following the conditions here this morning, bring you updates here. Uh, the sun's finally starting to make its way up, so we'll get a better glimpse at where everything stands. We'll keep you updated. Uh, for now, we're live here. Dan Griffin, Fox 13 News. Back to you.